Hi. Hello, Judith. Hello. Good evening. Thanks. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Nadie se ha conectado todavía. Yeah. Jose is connected. And you? Ah, oh, sí. Puede ser por la lluvia, I don't know. But... Let's wait. Jose. Okay, good evening. Good evening, Jose. How was today, Chief? Um, relax. I had a relaxing day. Also good. Hello, you all. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. We're about to start. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Henry. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Today. We had a we had a storm a couple of minutes ago here. Here is very very hot. Oh, here is cool now. Well, let's start. And things for being in class. Let's. Just, uh, okay, here, here we go. Yesterday we were about to start practicing with uh, holiday, holidays or festivals. And you were going to... Um, ask these questions but do you remember the festivities or holidays we have here in El Salvador what are they um September 15th September 15th give me another uh, another uh, another uh, Mother's Day Mother's Day okay I have you here mm, thank okay. you thank you Jose thank you you're welcome August uh, fixing six. Oh, uh, that, four, that is. Uh huh. Four fix in six. Okay. The the we can say August festivities.
Someone else, come on, participate. Um, the Father's Day. Father's Day. in on John 17th. Yeah, June, June 17th, yes. What other do you remember? Other celebration here or holiday in El Salvador? Come on, participate. Don't be shy. Christmas. Oh, Christmas. When is it? Uh, uh, the 6th, the August, Augusto, August. August, okay, those are the August festivities. The August festivities, see. Sí. Thank you. No more? Okay, now, we're going to work in groups and remember to... Um, talk uh, about a special holiday or festival. Remember that we have the San Miguel Carnival, San Salvador, I mean, August festivities, Holy Week, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day. So we have a lot of uh, holidays and festival here in El Salvador. So, Let's work in groups by the moment, and then we come back. Understand the activity? Yeah. Okay, remember to make this question. What is the holiday or festival? When is it? What are you going to do? Where are you go going to go? Who's going to be there? When are you going to go? How are you going to get there? Excellent.
Welcome back. Okay, there you are. Let's continue. Uh, what festival or holidays did you talk about? San Salvador, I mean, August is finished. Oh, excellent. What else? And More? San Miguel, San Miguel. Carnival, San Miguel Carnival. Yeah. Ex excellent. What was the other? Or what were the others? About Independence Day. Ah, the Independence Day. Nice topic. And what was the the other? Because you were four groups. I don't remember the day, but at the Cojute, the the Butifarras Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the Chorizos Day. Okay. All right, let's continue. Right now, we're going to have a reading activity. Jose, I want you to read the heading of the, of the article. Read the heading, only the heading. Can you see the left? Can you see it? No. No, okay. Let's have uh, Jacqueline Vanessa. Can you read the heading, please? The heading is this. Questions. The heading. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, the question. That's the heading. Okay. What are you going to do on your birthday? Okay, thank you. Now, let me see. Joao, can you read about Elena Buenaventura, please? Okay. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My... 21st birthday is Saturday and I'm going to go to go out with some friend to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to pour on my hair 2021 mm -hmm. time on for each year. It's or on custom. Some people fall on the air just once, once. But my friends are very traditional. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Henry, you have a uh, Jan Chin Chi. Okay. Yan Chin Chi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Judith, raise your hand. So you, uh, Judith, Mr. and Mrs. Aoki are yours. Okay. Mr. and Mr. Aoki, Kyoto, my husband is going to be um, 16, yeah. 16 no, tomorrow. 60. 
60 tomorrow in Japan. Japan. Uh, the 60th birthday is called Han Reiki. It's, it's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give sometimes. Red a present, uh, what are you, are all children going to ha give him uh, a red hat and this? Okay, thank you, Judith. Jacqueline, you have Philip Jolly. Jacqueline Vanessa. Yes, so Philip Jolly, Paris. I am going to be there next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner uh, in France. When you have a birthday, you often invite people out in some countries. I know it's the opposite. People take you out. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, check for the pronunciation, okay? And check uh, for some words. Uh, congratulations to, to the four of you. But we need to uh, brush up some words, okay? So I'm going to start with Elena Ventura Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. And I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yang Chin Chi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's an special birthday, so we're gonna have a family ceremony. I'm probably gonna get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is gonna cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is gonna be 60 tomorrow in Japan. The 60th birthday is called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are, what are our children go, gonna give him? A red hat and vest. Philip Jolly Paris. I'm gonna be 30 next week. So I'm, I'm gonna invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Now, what are the new words for you? I, that I, I don't understand that word when, the, when you say um, noodle. Noodles. Uh -huh. Noodles. N O O D L E S. Yeah, yeah. Noodles. Those are noodles. Noodles. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Laima, Laimaru, Laimaru Shan Soup. Noodles. Those are noodles. Okay. Got it? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. Another? Another word? No, that's it. Okay, yeah, yeah. But but for the rest for the rest of the class. Mm -hmm. No questions. So you understand. Okay, I need someone um, else. Uh yes. Teacher. Hello. Um, Elena Buenaventura. Uh -huh. Once for each year. Okay, once. 
perdón, perdón, once for once. each. Yeah, once is, once means one time. Yeah. Understand you all? Once. Un, o, como, o, como por decir en ocasión. No. no. Once means one time. Um, one okay. time. One time. Yeah, one time. Yeah. Another example. You can say, I go to church once a week. Once a week. No, no. Right now, the, is the, the word is once. Mm -hmm. Okay? Only, only Sunday. Yeah. Once means one time. Okay? Okay. Right. Yes, yes. One time. Yes. Una vez. Una vez. That means once. once. And Jose was saying twice. Twice means two times. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But they say that they pull here once for each year. So 21 times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, okay. Once for each year. Okay. Thank you all for your question. Another no more questions? Uh, me, teacher. Yes. Um, I want to ask you that what is the meaning of envelopes? Em envelope. Envelopes. Envelopes. Yes. Okay. Yes, em fine. Envelopes are, are like things that you use to send letters or documents inside of them. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Like when you send a letter to a friend or an invitation goes inside of an envelope. Okay, okay. Uh, like puso. <laughs> no. Right. It is, is sobre. Uh, oh, oh that's, an, that's an envelope. Okay. Um, okay. Um, pull? Pull. I'm gonna show you what is yeah. pool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pulling my ear, pulling something. Pull a door or push a door, pull and push. Yeah, alar. Thank you. All right, so that is a costume in Spain. Or is a constant from Spain? Teacher. Hello. Uh, Costumbre. A little yeah. question. Yes. Uh, um, how can you use the envelope? How can what? How can you use envelope? How can you use? Yeah. The word or, or, or what? Or, 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 or when can you ah, use that word? Ah, you use that. No, okay, you use that word when you need to send something like a letter. You mm. write a letter. Mm. Remember all times? Mm. You write a letter or you want to send documents. You use a, a you use an envelope. You put the documents inside the envelope. You seal mm. it. You put a stamp on the envelope. And you go to the mail, the post, uh, the post office, and send it to the person. That's how we no, use I, an envelope. I think I I was thinking I can um, use that word when uh, you have a uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna be have a party and you invite oh, also. some people and, and yeah and and, and sorry the money about the all envelope. right yeah yeah you sir envelope. You use an envelope mm -hmm. to send invitations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. Now let's go to the next activity. But yeah, but before let's take a picture, okay? Open your cameras, please. Open your cameras. Open your eyes too. Eso. <laughs> <laughs> Open your cameras and open your eyes. Mm -hmm. And a smile. Really? 
<laughs> All right. My eyes really open. <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, three. Na, 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 na. One more. Here we go. And that's it. All right. Let's continue with the class. Now comes the opportunity for you to I'm going to send a picture too because you need you need the reading. All that. You need this reading for the next activity. Where are you guys here? Uh, teacher, but the, that picture that is left now, uh, you can send to the group. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Okay, so this is the activity. It says, read the article, then correct these sentences. We have four, four sentences. To celebrate her birthday, Elena is going to pull on her friend's ears. Number two, Yang Ching is going... Is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Number three. On his birthday, Mr. Aok is going to buy something red. Four. Philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. Okay. After that, you're going to uh, discuss how do people usually celebrate birthday in El Salvador. Do you have plans for your next birthday? How about the birthday of a friend or family member? What are you going to do? Tell the class. Okay, so that's going to be after you had work on the four sentences. Vámonos a las alas. Se perdió la dale. Here I am. Teacher, ¿está tardado o no me mandó a las... O no, me mandó no, a las no áreas, está ¿sí? lento, está lento. Ok. Quiero ver. Let me, let me check. Ya. Yeah. Todos sus compañeros están ya, solo usted no... Yo soy el rebelde, pues. <ríe> cabal, cabal. Envíeme nuevamente. Si no, lo, lo, lo voy a enviar a otro grupo porque no se puede al mismo. Ok. Ok.
Everybody here? Yes, you are. So what is the correct sentence for number one? Porque esta está incorrecta. You have to go. The, the incorrect us. Aha. Uh -huh. So what is the correct one for number one? Uh, to celebrate her her birthday. Uh huh. Elena's friend. Uh -huh. Are gonna pull on her ears. That's a good one. Why we can say yes. um. Uh, her friends are going to pull Elena's ear. Yeah, but it's okay. Okay, okay. that's a that's a good one. In in other order. Yeah, in other order. So it's, it's the same meaning. Okay. Significaría lo mismo. Okay. Right? Okay, the same meaning. But you should say Elena's friends are going to pull her. Her ears, right? Her ears. Yeah. Her ears. Elena's friend. Okay. Elena. Let's let's write it. Elena's friends. Elena's friends are going to pull her ears. Okay. The second one, okay, another volunteer. Como quedó la número dos? Yan Ching is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. What is the correct sentence? Or what is the correction? Um, podría ser, my mother is gonna to cook noodles in for my birthday, sister birthday. Oh. Okay, I got the I got the idea, solo que hay que arreglar algunas cositas, okay? My mom, the, you can say my mom, my mother. The mother? No, the mother, no. Eso suena muy, muy latino. Mo, mother Yanchi? No, my mother is, ah, okay. is going to cook. ¿Qué va a cocinar? Noodles. 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 Noodles for me or oh, for my birthday. For me, you can say for me. Or yes. on my birthday. Let me see. On my birthday. Okay. Number three. What's the correction? Number three. Se supone que trabajaron en grupo, ¿verdad? ¿O cómo les van los grupos? No trabajan. Sí, trabajamos, pero nosotros estábamos viendo si era verdadero o era falso. Entonces, no, 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 no escribimos la, la oración completa. Ah, no, es que, es que aquí sí. dice corregir las oraciones. O sea, todas uh -huh. están incorrectas. Correcto. Todas están Correcto. incorrectas. Bueno, en, the, en, the en children. Este... Ah, pero ¿qué son los niños de él? Bueno. No dice. No dice. No dice. Color mm. red representa una nueva vida. So children. The children. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. continue, continue. So children often give something red a, mm -hmm. as a present. Mm -hmm. Entonces, no dice si son sus niños, 
o, o los niños. Ok. Sería, sería the children. The children okay. gonna is the children is gonna uh -huh. often give sometimes red. No, 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 no. Vamos a esperar otra opinión. Luego construimos con lo suyo y lo, lo demás. Teacher. Hello. Um, in his birthday, Mr. Aoki is gonna receive something red. Okay, gonna receive. 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 Something red. Something red, something okay. Something or something. Ok, si vamos a dejar la misma, la misma oración, dice Mr. Aoki, vamos a cortarla, no vamos a decir on his birthday. Mr. Aoki. Ok. Yes, Mr. Aoki is going to get, you can say get, uh -huh, or receive Something red. But in the reading, ahí menciona, dice. Is the beginning of a new light, the color red, a new light. So children often give one as a prison. What are our children? Aquí dice, nuestros niños. Okay. Nuestros niños. Ahí dice eso. Our children are going to give him, mire, a red hat and a vest. Ahí está, right? So he's going to receive something red. Let's go with number four. Hello. Come on, participate. Don't worry. Aquí no hay... Eh, respuestas malas, ok luego las arreglamos solo quitarle una cosita ponerle otra all right? there are no bad answers come on, don't be shy Philip's friends are gonna take him out to dinner on his birthday No la hicieron. Sean sinceros también. Hello, hello, can you hear me? What is the question, teacher? No, the, no, there's no question. Okay. El ejercicio era corregir estas oraciones. There are no, uh, no la hicieron entonces. Ok. If you didn't do it, Philip, Philip is going to take his friend out to dinner. Philip mm -hmm. invited his, his yeah. friends. Uh -huh. Dice, pero dice que este Philip dice que va a tener 30 años en la, la siguiente semana. Eh, pero la oración que vamos a trabajar es la número 4. Entonces debe de buscar la información correcta en, en la lectura. Okay. Como, como, como quien dice reading, reading and comprehension. Mire, ajá, dice, I'm gonna be 30 next week. So I'm gonna invite three, three very good friends. So he's going to invite his friends out for dinner. In some country, I know is the opposite. People take you out. Okay, here in El Salvador, the people take out. Uh, the birthday, I mean, the people that is uh, celebrating. 
in Paris is the opposite. Allá el cumpleañero invita. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, the... okay. Mm -hmm, okay. En ese caso no me gustaría vivir allá. All right. All right. No, está let's bueno que viera allá porque no invite a nadie. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, I'm going to ask some questions here. Y me imagino que estas no las hicieron. Dice, how do people usually celebrate birthday in your country? Okay, I'm going to answer some of these questions, but there are some people here that don't participate. I want you to participate. Okay, let me ask Ruth Abigail. How do people usually celebrate birthday in El Salvador? Um, um, it's a, a cake. People eat, eat a cake, yeah. It's a, it's a custom. Cake is always on birthday. Thank you, Ruth. Veronica Tatiana, how do people usually, usually celebrate birthday in El Salvador? In El Salvador, the people usually buy a cake uh -huh. or, or visit uh, uh, at the beach, for example. Can be. We have options, right? You can go to the yeah. beach. You can go to a restaurant, uh, a beautiful place. Yes. Thank you, Veronica. How do you say piñata? Piñara. Some people break piñaras, but I, I, I don't yeah. I don't want to answer that. You have to answer. All right. Okay. Uh, Juana, do you have plans for your next birthday? Um, dinner. dinner. Yes. Oh, excellent. You're gonna, I'm gonna have dinner, okay? You can say, ahora es, ahora es momento to use gonna. I'm gonna have dinner with my family. I'm gonna have dinner with my friends. Or oh, I'm gonna have dinner with my family and friends. Ok. Mm -hmm. Got it. Podemos usar el Gona ahorita. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Juana. Joao, do you have plans for your next birthday? I'm gonna. I'm gonna the beach and. Mm. Uh, what. what but my family in celebration. Okay. I'm going to go to the beach with my family to celebrate my birthday. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, y'all. Let me see. Liliana Abigail. What are you going to do on your next birthday, Liliana? No answer. Okay, take this, take this uh, questions. Yo sé que en grupos se siente mejor, pero por favor participen en los grupos. Practice, don't be shy. Practice, pregúntense que no se sientan incómodos. All right. It, yeah. it, Hello. Hay un problema. He sí. estado viendo cuando nos pasamos a la otra sala. Como que se notan muchas intervenciones y de repente eh, el, el, nos hablamos, 
y no lo contestamos porque de repente yo tengo que no lo escuchamos. Ah, ok. Va, entonces yo pregunto acá y tampoco me responden. Va, está, está bien, que, eh, está bien. Sabemos, thank you, José. Está bien, hay interferencia en los grupos, la señal se baja y no se puede recibir eh, la información, ¿verdad? La, de la, el mensaje de los compañeros. Pero yo pregunto acá y... y... No y solamente, solamente que hay otra, otra clase de pequeñito impasse, pero bastante grande al final. Porque de repente cuando los vamos a la sala, y como por ejemplo esto, eh, escuché una compañera que al final no supe quién era, y eh, no estaba, digamos, consciente o no estaba bien claro qué era lo que íbamos a responder de esto. Ah, ¿Cómo okay. vamos a hacer con esto? Va, y yo, o te, está bien que hablemos porque yo pregunto antes de que vayan al ejercicio, yo les pregunto si comprenden. Y to, nadie, algunos dicen sí, está bien, pero y, y el que no comprendió no dijo nada. Mm -hmm. Por favor, sean sinceros, pues yo les voy a explicar. Sí, y, y, ok, yo explico okay. en inglés y ya después quiere que le, y si se puede hablar en español, lo vamos a hacer, pero es poco, es poco. Recuerden, ustedes van avanzando y la clase tiene que ser, tiene que ir progresando más y más el inglés. Ya, ya le doy la, 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 la palabra, Joao. Eh, tiene que ir, por eso es que menos español, más inglés. Ok. That's the purpose to, to make you speak. Ok, Joao. Yo creo, Ticha, que la mayoría quizás tenemos miedo a, a, a la corrección aquí, ¿verdad? Pero la verdad es que estamos aprendiendo aquí. Y es mejor equivocarnos aquí y sacar duda aquí que quedarnos con la duda y terminar la clase. Pues a mí me ha pasado, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ahorita, I'm gonna go to the beach. O sea, algo que se me va en el momento, pero usted está ahí para corregirnos Correcto. y para ayudarnos y guiarnos, ¿verdad? Entonces, Así yo, es. Yo digo que eso tenemos que quitarnos el miedo a, a errar. Errar es parte del éxito. Sí, hay un enemigo acá y es para los que están aprendiendo cualquier idioma, no solo inglés. Y se llama pena. La pena es el peor enemigo. Recuerde, nosotros estamos aprendiendo el idioma, vamos a cometer errores, eso es válido. Y como dice Joao, esta es nuestra zona... Es nuestra zona de inglés, nuestra zona de práctica, nuestro momento para practicar, para corregir y pues compartir o preguntar por dudas. Isaac. Sí, es un detalle que he observado. En, ahí en las primeras salas, cuando nos envía, eh, nos comparte lo que es el texto, ya sean las preguntas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O el texto que vamos a practicar en, en, la, en lo que es la reunión. Eh, eso sí nos ayuda bastante, ya que eh, no perdemos tiempo en estar copiando el cuaderno, ¿verdad? Sino que usamos lo que nos manda al grupo de chat, ¿verdad? Sería algo que, que en lo personal este, agradezco que lo pudiera mantener siempre que nos va a mandar okay. al, al grupo, porque si nos, es nuestro apoyo para poder desarrollar el ejercicio. Excelente. Solamente. Gracias, Isaac. Gracias. Sí, y yo les envío, por ejemplo, si es una conversación, le envío la conversación y le envío la pronunciación para que ustedes estén apoyando. Yo sé que es bien poco el momento, son cuatro o cinco minutos. Es poco, pero tenemos que ir avanzando también. Uh -huh. Ok, my friends, I think, uh, creo que ha sido muy, muy provechosa esta esta conversación y, y lo quiero así como, como que si no rompen el hielo en la clase aquí en general, háganlo en los grupos, ¿ok? Entonces, esta vez nos tenemos más confianza con los compañeros, háganlo, ¿verdad? Tranquilos, este, yo no estoy de papa cincha ahorita, ¿verdad? Sino que, pues, <risa> yo soy, eh, un, un fa, eh, soy un facilitador, o sea, yo quiero hacerle fácil el aprendizaje a usted. Por sí. eso, ¿verdad? O sea, facilitarle para que usted se sienta cómodo, ¿verdad? Si tiene pena, poco a poco la vamos a ir hacia un lado. Si hay mala pronunciación, hay que irla corrigiendo, ¿ok? Así que, 
Eh, just continue working, continue studying, eh, dedicate more time during the day. Usted tiene tiempo, un par de minutos en el día. Escucha música. Tiene tiempo durante el día. Eh, practique una conversación. Repase su, con, sus contenidos, ¿ok? Porque yo sé que usted está en, este, en estos cursos porque quiere aprender, ¿verdad? Así yeah. que... Así que we're, we're going to take the attendance, okay? And, um, ah, the picture. Right? Te, 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 teacher, yes. um, a little question about the plataforma. Ah, the platform, the platform. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Para, eh, entré a la plataforma ahora porque me llamaron por el teléfono. Uh -huh. que no estaba haciendo la como participando en el uno y el dos pero yo estuve tratando de entrar y ver pero no me aparecía nada de eso de repente ahora en la noche bueno uh -huh. que desde que me hablaron como a las cuatro me preocupé y anduve allí bien afanado viendo cómo le hacía sí. y, y de verdad logré entrar pero hay unas cosas Twitter, que me aparecieron que no las comprendo porque este, la misma pregunta pero no le veo fundamento en la respuesta para contestar en, la, en los espacios que tiene de respuesta mm, hay, hay que ver qué, cuál ejercicio es y qué es lo que le pide si le, que, sí, que si ahí, le pide ahí, el going to o le pide qué es lo que le pide no, no, no sé qué es como es como una oración <risa> completa Dice así, mire, ve. Le voy a decir, le voy a decir en una de las más complejas. Este dice, why you gonna, why, why you gonna do this, uh, this next summer? Ah, uh, what are you gonna do this next summer? Ajá, pero, pero allí dice, después dice, a, abajito tiene como respuesta, pero no está para acertarla ni para nada, solo parece como respuesta, dice, homework. I'm going to do homework. Uh, Ahí la tiene, pero no, me, pero no me la tiene en el espacio encerrado donde yo le puedo poner que si es eso o hay otras opciones, sino que repite la misma pregunta en el otro y hace la misma otra y después dice, aparece otro. Uh, where you going to you gonna go this, the, the, okay. the next summer? Usted... Dice, arriba, arriba aparece... Alaska con letras mayúsculas grandes. Alaska, ok. Eh, posiblemente no le está cargando bien la plataforma. Eh, o oh, también, tómeme, le captura, le envía al grupo. Ok. Tómeme captura okay. y lo envía al grupo para que le puede, se le pueda ayudar ahí. Ok. Muy en, buena... una respuesta, en una respuesta de sesiones que tuve ahí, okay. las envié. Este, yo creo no este, que usted tiene allí la opción para poder ver la plataforma a ver cómo en qué nivel estoy y parece que me dice que en un José, me, me, José me calificaron perdón que le interrumpa perdón, perdón, perdón cualquier sí. inquietud mejor póngale en el grupo y pida que le que le ayudemos ya sea alguno de nosotros o el teacher o un colaborador mucho más fácil mm, bien. bien las capturas Gracias. José Gracias. Okay, open okay. your cameras, please. <laughs> open your cameras for a moment. <laughs> okay. Ahí estamos. There you are. All right, next one. The last one. Solo con ocho sabemos aquí. Sí, abro. <risa> con ocho rompe almada. Ya va, ya ni almada nos venden. Ok, I'm gonna call the, gonna call the attendance. Alba Iris. En Santa Tecla abundaba la almohada. Ok. Andrea Marcela. Present. Thank you. Sorry. Don't worry. Damaris Lisset. 
I'm here. Thank you. Eduardo Enrique. Fátima Esmeralda. Here. Thank you. Francisco Armando. Present. Thank you. Giovanni Lopez. Henry. Present teacher. Thank you. Isaac. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Vanessa. I'm here, teacher. Joao. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Yeah. Juana Velasquez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Judith. Se fue Judith. Liliana Abigail. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Hazel. Present teacher. María del Carmen. Miriam Maricela. Present. Thank you. Present. Roberto Carlos nunca se presentó. Ruth. I'm here. Thank you. Stephanie Yamilet. No vino. Uh, Tatiana Emilia. And Verónica Tatiana. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, my dear students, the first week has, has finished. See you next Monday. Creo que el lunes le estaremos avisando lo de las vacaciones. No nos han dicho nada aún. Según pienso, hasta el lunes llegamos. Y regresamos hasta el siguiente lunes. En mis cuentas así es, ¿verdad? Serían seis días okay, con el lunes verdad. venidero. Y luego otra vez de lunes a viernes. Y luego de lunes a viernes para cumplir las 16 jornadas. Eso es lo que pienso yo. Me imagino que así lo han programado. All right, so please. Okay. Eh, ¿Verdad? A, a comer esos gelotes locos, churros españoles. <ríe> ¿verdad? A la rueda. A la, y a subirse a la Chicago. <ríe> okay. Ya quiero right. comer esos gelotes locos yo. En el lote loco todo lavado. <ríe> no, tengo, no tengo tiempo de comer el lote loco. Teacher. No, hombre. Ah, pues. Y si van, me traen uno. Eso, ah, excelente. Tengo, tengo muy, muy apretada la agenda laboral. Ah, no, hombre, al pasón le vamos a tirar un suelote loco, ok. All right, ah, bueno, good. Claro. Yo también. Okay. La, agenda, la agenda no me da. Eso, ah. muy bien, ok. Have a nice weekend. See you, see okay. you on Monday. Okay, see you Monday. Monday. See you next Monday. Monday. Have a nice. Have, have a nice